Y'all, look at this picture. Do we care that my daughter didn't spell the word mommy right? Or that her puppy dog has ears that are longer than her entire body? No. It, it warms our heart that our daughter sat down and took out her crayons and made this beautiful picture for mommy to show her love and affection for mommy. And if you're a parent, you know what I'm talking about. When you watch your kids, you see analogies, you see metaphors and the things they do and say, and you're constantly thinking, oh, I bet that's how God views me, right? Well, this gave me an example from Mark 12. This picture that my daughter drew, it reminded me of something. And I was thinking, well, what if my daughter was always disobedient? And what if she was offering me these cute little paintings and pictures, but she was always terrorizing her siblings and she was always doing the wrong things. And, and she wasn't necessarily really loving mom and dad the way that she should or could, but she was still offering us these pictures. And that's what we see in Mark chapter 12, verses 28 to 34. This really smart scribe, this educated guy is asking Jesus, what is the greatest of the commandments? And of course, Jesus says, the Lord your God is one. And to love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, strength, and soul, and love your neighbors yourself. And the scribe comes back and he says this. He says, yes, that's right. That is far more important than all the burnt offerings and sacrifices. So what is he saying there? This is key. And this is our challenge for this week. Like my kids, if you're obeying me, if you're loving me, if you're loving your siblings and you're doing the right things, and then you offer me a picture that you drew, that picture just warms my heart. And we could do the same thing for God, right? We could be doing all the wrong things, but we check the religious boxes. We have these burnt offerings and sacrifices that we offer him. We go to church and we open up our Bible, but we're, we're not really loving God. We're just doing religious things. We're doing religious activities. We're checking the box, so to speak. We're drawing little puppy dogs on papers to offer up to God, but we're not really loving him. We're not obeying him. We're not actually doing all the right things. We're not taking care of our neighbor and loving our neighbors ourselves. And what Jesus is clearly pointing out in this text is that burnt offerings and sacrifices and all these religious activities, they do not mean that our heart is right. And so my challenge for you this week, is your heart right? Are you actually loving God with all your heart, mind, strength, and soul? Are you actually loving other people as you love yourself? Or are you just doing religious activities? Is it just lip service? Are you doing things with improper motives, maybe to be seen or recognized? Only you can answer that question. Only I can answer that question for myself. We've got to be honest with ourselves and ask, are we really loving God with all of our heart, mind, strength, and soul?